Okay, so now we're going to talk about mass updating or deleting loan files. So to do that, you want to go to your pipeline, pipeline main. Once you're on this screen, uh, well, first, first of all, you want to kind of determine which loan files you want to either mass update or delete. If they're already on your screen here, um, then you can do that. Or you do a search to figure out which ones you want to mass update, right? Maybe there's, maybe there's um, all the all the um, all the loan files that you have that are a certain loan program. You want to shift them to a different loan program, so you can filter out here, right? Let's say, okay, I just want to change all my fix and flip loan programs to something else, right? I would hit that search for the that filter and now it's showing me here all my fix and flip loan programs all right so that's what you would want to do first is just do the search to show you what you want to see at the bottom and then decide what changes you want to make but well, we're going to reset that so what we're what we're we're going to do here is just kind of show you if we already have our search criteria filled out and and it's all filtered here already and let's just say we wanted to delete one of these items we can, let's say we want to delete this uh, this one right here, number three, right? We are going to scroll down a little bit so that we can see that bottom scroll bar right here. And we're going to scroll that all the way to the right. And this column where it says all, where we can select that one loan file. And that's the one that we want to delete. And then we can click on the, the button right above here. So this is the mass update button. You can see here, you have all these options. You can choose to deactivate the file, which is the equivalent of deleting a loan file. Uh, nothing truly gets deleted from the system. The, the loan files don't truly get deleted completely out of the system. They just go into deactivated status, which means it removes it from your active file so you can't see it. But in case you ever need to recover it, you have the ability to recover it. It's going to be located there. So you can deactivate files. You can update status. You can do a bulk update of statuses. You can add a substatus. And you can do this multi you can do this by multi-selecting multiple loan files or all the loan files that are displayed on the filter here. Like you can do all of these either to one file or multiple files, right? So you can update status, add substatus, update branch, update broker, update loan officer, update the branch loan officer and broker, assign employees, remove assigned employees, email a document and update the loan program. So, you know, if you just wanted to delete this one loan file, you would just click on deactivate. It tells you right there, you have one file selected and you just hit save and that would delete that loan file. Um, if we filtered out, if we use the search to filter out, or let's say I, I just want to go and see all my pre-approved files that I have here and I want to bulk update these, right? I could just, there's four files listed here. I could just click on this box at the top and that will select all four of those. It shows you here, you have four pre-approved fi uh, status files, right? And then I can choose to do my bulk update here. So if I wanted to change the status, the file status, it's currently in pre-approved. Let's say I wanted to move these into processing or a different, um, let's say I wanted to move these to in processing, right? I could just select in processing and then hit the save button. And I see in processing, now there are four additional, the four moved from pre-approved and they got moved into processing. So if I click on this, now these loan files are located there. All right. So that's how you can either delete loan files or you can do um, any sort of bulk mass update to any of these uh, loan files in your pipeline. All right.